The U.S. message to North Korea tonight, we can shoot down your short and medium range missiles. Meanwhile, China has a message for the U.S. North Korea is not just our problem. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the latest from the Pentagon tonight. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency successfully shot down an intermediate-range missile over the Pacific using a THAAD anti-ballistic missile battery based in Alaska. Its target was launched north of Hawaii, pushed out the back of an Air Force cargo plane. Today's test comes one week after North Korea launched a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking Alaska. So this has a stabilizing force. It communicates to them today is not a good day uh, to uh, destabilize and upset the, the apple cart uh, because we're going to be able to protect ourselves to some degree and oh by the way we're going to come after you in response. THAAD missiles are used against short and medium range missiles, not the kind North Korea launched on July 4th, which traveled 1,700 miles into outer space, nearly seven times higher than the space station. The U.S. has other interceptors in Alaska and California for long range missile threats. Today, a South Korean lawmaker said his country's intelligence service questions whether the recent North Korean test succeeded, after all, in achieving the crucial reentry phase. Kim Jong Un, meantime, sat next to the weapons engineer he promoted for that ballistic missile launch as they watched a girl band concert. Just days earlier, the U.S. military flew a pair of B-1 bombers to South Korea from Guam and dropped dummy bombs. Today, China's foreign ministry spokesman hit back in unusually strong terms at repeated calls from the U.S. to put more pressure on North Korea, urging a halt to what it called the China responsibility theory. China is not to be blamed for the current escalation of tension, nor does China hold the key to resolve the issue. About 90 percent or so of the trade that North Korea does is done with China. And we continue to say thanks for what you've done, but we expect and we want you to do a whole lot more. Right now, the Pentagon would like to send four more THAAD interceptors to South Korea, but the South Korean government has put the plan on hold, not wanting to provoke North Korea or China. Brett? Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.